Two Ups Tomorrow reporting live from MST. Tonight's news will highlight what seems to be the end of detente, a relaxation period in this Cold War. December 28th, Nikita Brezhnev, a Soviet, the Soviet leader, has sent Soviet troops to halt the uprising of Mujahideen, a U.S.-aided guerrilla group in Afghanistan. This, in the past year, the Soviets have tried to invade this South Asian country located near the Persian Gulf and stop Afghan from turning into Shah's Iran. Salome Salman is now reporting live from Afghanistan to tell us more. Hello everyone, we're reporting live from Afghanistan. The communist group People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan have just overthrown the Afghan government. Brezhnev says he was invited because he had a 1978 treaty of friendship with one leader. He was an invading. He claims to have been invited by the Afghan government to protect it from an outside threat and tries to alleviate the situation by promising that Moscow would end its presence in Afghanistan as soon as the situation is stabilized. The Soviet troops' presence in Kabul could not have come at a worse time. As a direct result of the so-called Brezhnev Doctrine, the USSR asserted its right and duty to go to war in foreign countries if and when an existing socialist regime was threatened. However, that was just a cover-up. The Islamic Revolution scared the Kremlin, and President Amin was killed in his palace. Not by Afghans, but by Soviet special forces. The invasion was supervised by Marshal Sergei Sokolov. The United States Congress was in the process of debating on a second treaty. This is an example of Moscow's increasing assertiveness in foreign affairs during detente. Could this be the end of detente for the Soviet Union with the U.S.? Okay. Thank you, Salome. And yes, this could be the end of detente. To the United States of America, this invasion shines the light on Soviets' true intentions, their determination to spread their influence beyond their border. And in the words of the U.S. President Jimmy Carter, this is a threat to world peace. This Soviet Union betrayal does not seem surprising for some. We have exclusive interview footage with the United States National Advisor, Zbigniew Brzezinski. The interviewer is our own MSC reporter, Melissa Lim. Take it away, Melissa. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Lim, and I am here today with our National Security Advisor, Mr. Zbigniew Brzezinski, and he is going to give us his expert opinion on the recent invasion of Afghanistan by the Soviet Union. What are the U.S.'s plans um, regarding this situation in Afghanistan? Well, it's obvious we're going to get tough with the Soviets again, possibly go back to traditional containment strategies to show to the, the USSR that we will not be passive. If we will impose sanctions on the Soviet Union, I'm possibly going to Pakistan to coordinate a joint response with the Pakistanis. We're also providing tons of weapons for the Mujahideen. And I probably should not have said that. Did you just say that the United States has been supplying the guerrilla group Mujahideen no, no, not really. Well, I just ask because there have been many, many instances where we've supplied uh, supposed revolutionaries and they ended up becoming more corrupt than the governments before it. So I'm just concerned about whether the U.S. is making the best decision here. I can assure you that our covert operations are completely justified and I don't foresee anything terrible like that happening. And uh, do you have any position about that regarding the Ovidin War? The Ovidin War was the event that salt, salt, our nuclear arms agreement was buried as well as the detente that we had agreed upon. But it hasn't been until this invasion of the Afghanistan that finally everyone realizes that detente is a failure. And I also blame this Ovidin War for causing the invasion of Afghanistan because we didn't do enough to stop it. Would this recent Soviet invasion be seen as the end of detente? Of course, now, detente is just over now. The Soviets thought detente was in a, wasn't an attempt for peace. No, they didn't want to cooperate. They thought detente meant a sorting power in the third world where we couldn't see it, and it was targeting more vulnerable countries. This isn't a path to peace. This is just a continuation of their territorial aggrandizement under Stalin about this issue, Mr. Brzezinski. 
do you think the United States is making the best possible decision regarding the Soviet Union? This is the best possible decision to make. We've been working so hard to maintain this detente and the Soviets aren't, but they, they are taking it for granted. But it just feels like we're back to the start of containment. We're quite concerned about the human rights violations within the Soviet Union itself, and I'll admit that their whole communist ideology is complete garbage. They're so in love with this utopia, they ignore all the killings of their own people and oppression. They're instilling the stupid belief system in uh, countries that shouldn't have a role in the Soviet Union anyway. As a result, we, the United States, the government of the United States, has decided to seize this opportunity in Afghanistan to get tough with the Soviets. We have everybody. Okay, well, there you have it, everyone. Straight from the course's mouth, Ms. Brzezinski. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, real quick, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at ZBig. Thank you. Now that we've had the U.S.'s point of view, we're going to interview Brezhnev to justify why he would invade Afghanistan. Really, that's a demon pardon. Поздравляю всех вас с Новым годом. Организация Объединенных Наций, которая объединяет почти все государства Земли, решила провозгласить его годом ребенка. Это очень хорошее, правильное решение. Ведь дети – это наше будущее. Они, я уверен, сделают жизнь на земле лучше и счастливее. MST would like to thank National Security Advisors Bing Yu Brzezinski for taking his time to speak with us. And we'd also like to thank our reporter Melissa Lim for scheduling this interview. This just in, ladies and gentlemen. The Carter administration has just responded to the Soviet Act by refusing to approve of SALT II, the second arms control agreement between the United States and the Soviet Union. The United States has also stopped the United States athletes from participating in Moscow Olympic Games. The Carter Doctrine has now been put in place, and which commits the U.S. to intervene if the Soviets threaten Western interests in Persian Gulf. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know if this moment is the end of detente, but the U.S. cannot keep on being betrayed by the Soviet Union. Detente is supposed to be a relaxation period in this Cold War. Detente is supposed to build a cooperative relationship between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. But the only country putting its best efforts into the success of detente is the United States. Soviet involvement in the Ugandan war and the invasion of Afghanistan illustrates Soviet's lack of effort, respect, and hope in detente. Detente is formed on trust and mutual respect, and we, the United States, cannot be the only ones holding onto this agreement. This brings us to the end of the report, and maybe the end of detente.